everybody. I'm back with another unboxing, and today I'm pretty excited to bring you, um, this unboxing is the Candy Locks Sugar Style Doll. I'm sure you've seen many videos on Candy Locks. I haven't, un um, I haven't unboxed any of the, the Cotton Candy Locks on my channel. Um, I don't have a, a love for them, and this is why right here, the hairline. So I want to actually check it out. So she has super long cotton candy hair, add hair extensions, includes hair chalk, she's scented, and it says so many sensational ways to style. Uh, this is Straw Mary. I do have another one to also unbox on this channel, but we're going to see how this one goes. This is for ages 5 plus. Uh, obviously these are the, and it says who is in there with the cotton candy hair. These are not blind. I love it. I love, 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 love that they're not blind. So I can pick out the ones I want. I don't know how many are in this big the big doll series. But on the back it pretty much says the same thing. You can add accessories. Like we have hair chalk we can do on the doll. Um, this is Straw Mary. Straw Mary is scented so very sweet. With scented cotton candy hair. That is more than a treat. You can swirl and twirl. Color with chalk and twist into buns. Add extensions and delicious accessories for hair play fun. And then, of course, I think it goes on to put it in French. Um, you can also go on the dot com to see more about these girls. It's the candy lock, candy lock stalls dot com. Um, and it says on the back, more sweet treats to collect. 20 plus from those. I don't know. Maybe there'll be a checklist in here that shows the other girls. On the side, there's um, some more illustrations on, let's see, Twirly Swirly Twist, Sugar High Pony, Delicious Double Buns. The box is pretty sturdy. She could totally be displayed in this box and never opened up. Uh, we do want to open her up, though. I want to feel her hair. I want to smell her. I want to see how solid she is. Pretty much, though, she almost looks identical to the ones that you get in the smaller version, just a bigger version. It's, and she's double the price. So as of the time of this video, uh, she's $19.99. At, I found her at Target. Uh, the smaller ones are, are $9.99. So yeah, double the price, but you're getting double the size, if not more than double. I haven't really measured her, so I don't know how tall she actually is. But I'm going to stop blabbing. I'm really excited about this. Um, I love when the dolls come out. And I'm going to unbox her and we'll get her out of her box. So before I completely unbox her, I just want to show you guys what she looks like from the back. This is going to be some amazingly long hair. Um, it seems like it might be a little bit more fitting to her body than the smaller ones. Um, let's see. It looks like we have directions and... The, oh, this is part of her hair too. Woo. And some kind of cotton candy thing. And then I don't know what this is. I'm hoping it's a stand. I would love to have a stand. But let's just see. It's weird. There is a checklist. But the checklist to me looks just like the checklist that comes with the um, with the smaller haired version ones. And so that, does that mean that they're going to do a big, -haired ver a big doll version of all the small ones? I don't know. If I like this girl, I might be in trouble. <laughs> so let's see. So this is Straw Mary. Um, and she, let's see if I can find her on the checklist. There she is. She's under common. So there's commons, there's super rares. I think just commons and super rares. That's fine. Okay. So it looks like this is our hair chalk. Comes in a little round container. I was hoping secretly that that was the stand, but it doesn't look like we have a stand here. This is, like, I guess supposed to be cotton candy, but I think it might actually be a hair extension of some sort. I don't know. I'm going to look at the instructions in a second here. And this is a hair pick. I think that's so that when you style, you can put it in there. So it's it's a cool little strawberry that has some kind of drizzling, light pink drizzling on top of the strawberry itself. And then you can see the little strawberry leaves there. Now let's get on to our girl hair. So our girl, let's see, she's supposed to smell. Okay, she does, but it's very, very subtle. I guess it's strawberry. 
I guess it's strawberry. I don't know. I guess because she's strawberry. So, um, her hair color is mixed with a red, like a reddish pink. I guess red is pink. And a really, really light green apple. She has a light complexion. She has dark brown eyebrows and dark brown um, eyeliner. She has a light blue eye, and you can see that there's sparkles, like white sparkle in the eye, which is really cute. And um, they are looking to the right. Her cheeks, instead of blush, have strawberry seeds. Actually, they have strawberry seeds and a little bit of um, tiny, like really, really light, light, light pink blush. And then she's got red lips. She does have a huge head that kind of reminds me of Blythe dolls, except for her eyes don't move. She has molded on hair for the side and the back. Her hair line is really funky to me. It's not something I loved with the smaller dolls. Uh, I'm going to mess around with it and see how I f if I fall in love with it or not. But uh, that's something I'll talk about in a little bit here. She is wearing a dress, a cute strawberry themed dress that has red and pink and green and light green in it and she's got seeds all over for decoration. It is a um, soft rubber dress that is removable. In the back here I think that the bow comes off or something. Let's see. Yeah the bow unsnaps here and she's wearing built-in hot pink underwear and I wonder if she has hot pink top or is it just the underwear? Hmm. Just underwear. Okay. And then that just buckles right back in there. So that's cool. She also looks like she has removable shoes that are that red and uh, translucent green heels. So let's see if the let's see if the shoes come off here. Yes, the shoes do come off. They're these cute sneaker pull-ons. Um, and then here's her feet. Cute little toes. She does have a little bit of articulation, but she is limited. Um, her arms go back up and down. And this one's stuck at a permanent bend because they don't have any elbow joints. But um, her arms go up and down. Her legs go up and down as well. So you can make her sit. Um, and I think her head goes back and forth, but let me just check on that. Yeah, her head goes back and forth. And now we're going to try and see if we can figure out how to do a hairstyle on her. Okay, so as far as I know, nobody has ever shown the hairline of one of these um, smaller girls on a camera or online. This is what it looks like in the bigger ones. So she doesn't have a complete flat head up here, but it, it's, a, it's more of a hollowed out plastic that has the um, hair coming out of the holes. And it slides, they slide around in the slots, so it's like a spoon shaped slot that's big on the top and then you can kind of move it around. So it's not completely hollow. So yeah, so maybe when we do the hair, it won't look so flat. So I don't really get it, guys. Um, I tried my hardest to make give it like a higher head, hairline so it doesn't make it look like she's bald around the edges. There's gotta be a way to do it and I, 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 I'm not doing it right or something. I mean, she's a really cool doll. Like, she's a different, a different design. Her hair is really cottony, really, I guess, really cotton candy-like. It's fragile though, so if you brushed over, brushed it, you could, it would probably come out. It's got a, it's almost like an insulation. I guess that's like, that's like its comparison is is a softer, non-itchy, scented insulation hair. Uh, this is supposed to be an extension. I don't know how to get it on. It's got like a uh, cotton candy handle on it. I thought it was an accessory at first. It, well, it is, but I thought it was like a holdable accessory. But this has to be their extension because there's nothing else in there. This is supposed to go in her hair, but it doesn't. It's I'm, I'm getting really frustrated. <laughs> I want to make something cool, but I don't know how to make anything cool. Um, I honestly see that this has a lot of play for some of the younger kids. But uh, it's not really so much for me. Um, I guess when I could feel figure out how to do it, I know you're sp it's supposed to, you know, bring out creativity and stuff like that. But um, I'm either not creative or I just I don't understand. I, I don't understand how this works. Like, how do I put that in there? Ugh. 
So anyone has any of these or bought any of these yet, and they know how they work, please, please, please comment below so that I can end my frustration and, and maybe send a picture of a really cool hairstyle on my Instagram. But um, other than that, we have the chalk here, which I'm probably not going to use in my girl because I, I don't know if it will come out or how, how it's going to end up coming out, but I, maybe I'll open it just to see what it looks like. Okay, so it's a lavender color. It's very greasy. Maybe it's supposed to be for you as a user to put on yourself. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, that's all we have for you guys today. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And also, while I'm at it, on the, on the comments below, let me know what you think of these girls. If you're going to be getting any, if you have any. <laughs> if you have any tips as to how to make her hair look cool, um, it would be very appreciated. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.